Another edition of Natural Health Solutions with Pioneer Wellness Research. I'm Jay Tillman and this is your certified natural health professional and herb specialist Cookie Tillman and today we'll discuss the structural system. We're glad you're with us today. Before we begin, how many uh, folks out there are uh, dealing with an issue like arthritis, um, uh, joint inflammation, joint pain, just achy joints in general? Um, largely this is uh, pointing to a symptomatic condition related to uh, mineral deficiency. Uh, how many people do you know that uh, supplement with uh, calcium or uh, vitamin D? Uh, did you know that those minerals need to be in the proper uh, um, ingredient ratio to be absorbed into the bloodstream? Many people don't realize that. Uh, so this points to a mainstream deficiency that we want to address primarily through uh, uh, intake of a supplement that's in a trace mineral, all the trace minerals. Um, some of the ones that we find um, most beneficial include anti-inflammatory herbs, um, such as devil's claw or turmeric or some of the uh, antioxidant rich superfruits such as uh, mangosteen, um, noni and asahi. Uh, so those are some, uh, some bits of information that uh, you'll find uh, useful in utilizing supplements in the proper forms and the proper ratios to get benefit at a higher level for you. Um, one example would be the calcium magnesium ratio. Did you know that calcium and magnesium should be taken on a two to one ratio? Uh, calcium, for example, if you're taking 500 milligrams, you should have 250 milligrams of magnesium in that supplement along with vitamin D. So um, without any uh, further delay, I would like to go ahead and um, take a short break now and then we'll come back because we have a lot of information to get to on the structural system with Cookie today. We'll be right back with Cookie. Our body's supportive framework that's our structural system and it consists of our bones bone marrow joints ligaments muscles and teeth yes our teeth did you know that when you eat refined sugar 
the circulation within the tooth reverses. Instead of waste being carried away, waste products from the blood deposit within the tooth, which sets the stage for decay. Wow, most of us think of bones and bone marrow as the main part of our structural system. But we'll talk just a little bit about those other parts too. The average adult has 206 bones, a variety of shapes and sizes, and they have complex internal and external structure. Some are lightweight, but yet strong and hard. The functions of the bone are, of course, structural support, protection of our vital organs, to provide an environment for the marrow where the blood cells are produced, and to act as storage area for minerals, especially calcium. The marrow generates red blood cells, platelets, and most white blood cells. Bone marrow plays a really important part in our immune system. That's where the stem cells are produced. And stem cells assist the body in regeneration and repair. Joints, tendons, and ligaments. Most of us know that joints are the connection where two bones meet. Joints have range of motion, the ability to flex and bend. Cartilage is tissue located between the bones. Ligaments are tough, stabilizing bands of connective tissue that attach one bone to another. A tendon is a tough band of fibrous connective tissue that connects muscle to bone and can withstand tension. Teeth, most adults have 32 permanent teeth. Each tooth has its own nerves and circulatory system that carries away metabolic waste and releases it into the bloodstream so that it can further be eliminated. So what are the primary health challenges? What we refer to as malfunction of our structural system. The four we're gonna talk about today are osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and fibromyalgia. Osteoporosis literally means porous bone. That's where the density and quality of the bone are reduced. A porous bone, as you can well imagine, is more fragile and it becomes more fragile with age, thus the risk of fracture is greatly increased. Lack of calcium is an important cause here. And as Jay mentioned, the calcium is absorbed when we have the proper ratio of magnesium and vitamin D. Did you know that carbonated drinks contain phosphoric acid, which severely depletes calcium? This means that drinking sodas and carbonated water increases your risk of osteoporosis. Osteoarthritis, also called degenerative di joint disease, affects cartilage and the adjacent bond. Lifestyle changes and manual therapy can be beneficial along with proper nutrients. Your diet, did you know that your diet plays a tremendous role in your health? I bet you've heard we are what we eat. And what we've learned in natural health over many, many years is that your lifestyle habits, your everyday lifestyle, has more to do with your health than genetics. Refined sugars, Sodas, wheat, and corn compromise the intestinal function, thus reducing mineral absorption, all of which contribute to thinning bones. Rheumatoid arthritis, that's a chronic inflammatory disorder and most typically affects small joints in the hands and feet. Very painful. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease and is two to three times more common in women than men, and generally occurs between the ages of 40 and 60. Now, mainstream medicine usually includes non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs known as NACIDs, steroids, and immune suppressants. All of these treat symptoms without addressing causes. Alternative and integrated choices 
include specific herbal formulas and lifestyle changes. Balancing the body's pH, that acid alkaline balance, is step number one and can be done in the privacy of your own bathroom. A seven day test kit is available for only $6 when you email us at info at pioneerwellness.net or contact us in our local office. Fibromyalgia is a common chronic pain disorder. It's characterized by widespread pain, multiple tender points, abnormal pain processing, sleep disturbances, fatigue, and often psychological distress. Fibromyalgia is a syndrome rather than a disease. That means that there is a collection of signs, symptoms, and medical problems that tend to occur together but are not related to a specific identifiable cause. One of my favorite books by Dr. Joe Elrod, and you can find this in most local libraries, is entitled Reversing Fibromyalgia. Many people have responded positively to his recommendations, which include extensive nutrient intake with focus on minerals, especially magnesium, which address the cause of this syndrome. In our experience, we really focus on causes versus just treating symptoms. Now we're going to talk a little bit about that. The current approach to managing any of these structural maladies is to treat the symptoms. Medications that treat symptoms often enhance the disease itself and at the same time increase nutrient deficiencies. There is wonderfully balanced supplement choices complete with vitamins, minerals, digestants, and herbs for superior absorption and assimilation. A few of those herbs might include horsetail, parsley, valerian root, licorice, papaya fruit, and pineapple fruit. Dr. Hugo Rodier, who is an MD in Salt Lake City, he says this, it just doesn't get easier, clearer, or more connected than this. Most doctors continue to prescribe NACID type drugs, which do nothing for the underlying conditions while killing 100,000 people each year. We could be teaching patients about their diets and giving them natural supplements. I've attended several classes with Dr. Rodier, and you'll want to learn more about some of his works.